Well boys, welcome back to the channel and today we're just doing a little garage video. Um, it's kind of an in-between season right now so there's not really much I can do filming. I could go four-wheeling but it's like uh, zero degrees right now so it's super super cold and I uh, can't go snowmobiling yet because of the lack of snow. We got like six, six inches right away in December or well right away in like halfway through November and then it all melted so we're down to about three inches which is not enough for snowmobiling. So we're kind of stuck in the middle right now. Hopefully some more snow will come soon so we'll be able to bust out the snowmobiles and get some cool content with those. But as of now, I just, I'm not in the mood to go four-wheeling in this cold weather and uh, we're just kind of waiting for the snow to fly. So right now it's kind of an in-between period. But um, today I'm just gonna kind of go over what we've got going on here in the shop. And then we're gonna actually jack up my snowmobile and uh, just do a little kind of speed test and just make sure everything's running great. And I'll explain to you why we're doing that here in just a sec. But first of all, let's go over what we got here. We reorganized again, and I'm just gonna make this quick because I know I just did a garage update video a couple of videos ago. But we got the snowmobiles right here by the small garage door so we can easily get them out. My Yamaha SXR 600 triple and my dad's Yamaha Phaser 500. Uh, both amazing sleds. Um, they're completely different though in geometry. That's a lot more like riding a dirt bike. You feel a lot more up high and uh, really good for powder. This thing just screams on the trail and has a super low center of gravity. So really completely different sleds. Uh, then we just got the Honda Brute Force and the Grizzly, which we reorganized here, facing out this way, not towards the door. Uh, this way we, it takes up less space and we can put more vehicles in here and have it not be as tight. So yeah, right behind the snowmobiles, we got the Honda, then we got the Brute Force here. Then we got just some random stuff, tires back there, bikes up on the ceiling, and then the blown up Grizzly right here, closer to the shop so we can kind of get this thing running. Hopefully we're going to get it running this winter throughout the long snowy months, and uh, then it'll be ready to rip next summer. That's the plan. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the run through. Um, I'm just gonna go over what we've been doing lately. Uh, brute Force is all completely running. Everything's good on that. We've done all the wheel bearings. Uh, we've done tie rods, we've done ball joints. We've got pretty much everything dialed in on that thing to make it perfect. We've also been working on the snowmobiles. The phaser needed nothing, but my snowmobile actually has needed a couple little things to get it running perfect. So actually what I was just working on today lift this up so you guys can see, uh, was the clutching. So this thing just still has stock clutches, but the secondary went bad and uh, it wouldn't engage and it was super, <clears throat> excuse me, super low on power, just was not running well. So I went ahead and picked up a new secondary clutch here, as you can see. Primary still a stock, normal clutch. I mean, they're both stock, but this is the one that came on it. This one's new. And uh, yeah, we installed the new secondary. Had never actually done that before. I've never installed a secondary clutch ever. So it's kind of a cool learning experience, but it wasn't that hard. And uh, yeah, so then we put the new, we actually had to put a new belt on too, because the belt we had <clears throat> was the wrong size, which is actually the cause for most of the issues. But the new belt and then the new clutch made it perfect. It's all dialed in, ready to go. Uh, engine work was needed nothing. This thing is completely ready to go. We're going to repaint some things though, like the exhaust and some of the vents on the hood because they're kind of rusty and uh, just some aesthetic things we're going to get done from now uh but everything engine wise is good now the clutches are good let's close this up here quick there we go close the hood so yeah now everything engine wise is good but this trailing arm right here is rusted through in this spot in one spot right here the rest of it's solid but this one spot so we're going to replace that at some point as of right now, it's fine. And then this radius rod, as you can see, is really bent. So we're gonna try bending it back, first of all. But again, as of right now, it's fine. Uh, also, the ski is pretty, pretty destroyed. It's kind of falling apart, mostly from hitting rocks and stuff. But, you know, this is a beater sled. So really, it's okay if it's not in perfect condition. I just need it to be running fine. Other than that, it's not really a big deal to me. So uh, yeah, everything's running as of right now, besides the grizzly, obviously. But um, yeah, now let's jack this thing up uh, with our new snowmobile lifting stand thing on bobber. And uh, we're just gonna make sure everything's good, putting the new clutch in there. Just wanna make sure everything still engages and spins and everything's just perfect for the next ride. So I'm gonna turn on some fans, open the garage door a little bit, and then uh, yeah, we'll just get this thing tested out. I can hear the lost crying.
boys, as you can see, this thing is running great. The whole garage is full of smoke, but uh, it's running <clears throat> absolutely amazing. Uh, it's kind of hard to breathe in here. I'm not gonna lie right now. We got the garage door open, got a fan running back there. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to test everything, make sure it's all running good for the season, getting it all ready so that it's completely ready to go when the season starts. And uh, I'm pretty sure it is, guys. Uh, it's running great, sounds great. Uh, just an amazing sled overall. If you guys are ever in the market for a snowmobile and find one of these, I would definitely recommend. Not just this specific snowmobile though, the SRX, the SX, 600, 700, doesn't matter. This, these Yamaha triples though, they're amazing snowmobiles. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did a little testing of the snowmobile, did a little garage update, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's kinda hard to breathe in here right now, but that's okay. We'll see you guys next time.